Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Lolly, and I want to share about organizing my, my clear polymer stamps. Now, of course, this is not my idea, and you have probably seen people doing this all over YouTube. So years ago, uh, when I first started collecting these, I saw a video from someone, I cannot remember who it was, but she had been said she had been inspired by Jennifer McGuire. So I really, I have not watched videos since then about it just because I, I knew I would get it done someday. I'm still working on it. I am almost all the way done, but I want to share my process. I am so thankful for doing this because now I can actually see what I have and it will be so much easier to use them. Okay, so first off, you know that, or maybe you don't know, this may be new to you, that the majority of people started using these Avery L stamp and die storage packets. So this is the small size, and I will show you an example here. That's what size that is. And then they have their large one, which they call these the large. And then they have what they call their extra large. And these are four mil thick, so they are very uh, strong. I will show you here. I know you can't see really well on video. And it's got a nice flap so you can tuck it under. The issue people have had with them is the cost. So I'm going to bring this screen up here. I've calculated the cost. This is without shipping. This is just the retail price for Avery L Pockets and also from a website called Checkout Store. So if you were to buy a hundred of the small ones, the small envelopes here, uh, or pockets, whatever you want to call them, they would be $17.98 from Avery L or $13.95 from Checkout Store. However, if you order, the more you order, the cheaper they become, if that makes sense. So if you order 200, then it ends up being 1250 per set of 100. But you could share these with your friends. The large ones, 100 of them on Avery L would be 23.98 versus 100 of them from checkout store is 16.95. The larger the size, it seems the better the deal or the savings. The extra large from Avery L, 100 would be 27.98 and from checkout Checkout store $17.95. So if you know anyone who wants to go in with you, uh, this would be a great way to be getting these by the hundreds, two hundreds, whatever. Now I want to bring this back out. Now so far, this is just what I've been as I this is just a tub. This is not where they're going to be. I have the different sizes in here, so I'm waiting to see basically how many of each I end up and then figuring out where to store these. Now this one fits in this wonderful thing for my Rascog, and this is from IKEA. I will put the information down below to what bin this is, but I love this for the large ones. Going through this, I realized they would look really lovely if we would just fill in this envelope with a piece of white cardstock. And it would be very uniform looking as you were flipping through. It would be gorgeous. On mine so far, uh, I'm leaving the original packaging. I fold it under if I need to. But part of that's because I want the information on the back. Some of them actually have product I project ideas. Another thing is if I'm using stamps and one's missing, I can usually turn it over in the back and see what's missing or know what else goes in that set. So I just thought that might be helpful. Uh, so for right now, I am leaving the original packaging in there. Um, stamp and die sets, a lot of these are the little ones here. So what I've done on these ones is I have, let me pull it out. This is a magnetic sheet that I order. They come in about eight, eight and a half by 11 size sheets. They are backed. It's a sticker, so you could put it on, you could put it on cardstock or you could put it on chipboard. I'm just leaving it as it is. This is the sticker back right there. And that in, creates a nice white front so that when I put this in here, the stamp set, it looks like I have white cardstock in there. But I just think that this whole thing of keeping the stamps and dies together makes it so convenient, and I'm really happy about it. A small set, um, some of the Lawn Fawn ones, they are so tiny that I put two in one of these, and I put both the names at the top here. 
and I put their dies in here as well. This Love You Tons, I have that stamp and die set in my shop. Isn't that cute though? I love the way I can fit two whole ones in there. And they're both animals. Now you could arrange them and put only Easter in one, but I don't know that I have enough small Easter stamps to make that doable. And also, if I sometimes I have like here's some really tall ones. These are the extra large envelopes. And look at these Tim Holtz stamps here. So I could fit two of them in there. And I have several of those. Okay, so I want to show you my labeler and how I'm labeling. I chose to put the name of the stamp set on top, and then in caps down below, I'm putting the company that makes it. And I am using the Brother P Touch, and this is the P Touch PT hyphen D210. I want to show you some little hints here. And I know this is going to be hard because of glare, so let's see what I can get on the screen here. Okay, so I'm turning this on. I'm just going to erase what's on here. I love this that you can do the the two side two lines on one sticker. However, okay, this tends to waste paper. So I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm just going to do type T E S T. You can see that I'm going to hit the print button. It's going to ask me if I want one copy. Yes. So I hit print again. When it's done. You push this down which is the cut button and you can see how much it wasted of the tape on both sides so if you're doing a lot of labels and it's wasting this much each time it's problematic you know you could do a chain where you just keep going on and on but if you're doing one label at a time like 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 I want to do it wastes paper so let's go back erase this what you can do is hit oops label and then I'm going to hit the arrow over do I see margin? Select OK. And then I'm going to arrow. It says full. It says half. It says narrow. And chain print. That's what I want. I'm hitting OK. Now it is reset. And so what's going to happen now? I'm going to do a test. And let's do it on this stamp set here. Let's come back out here. This stamp set here, which is also in my shop. I love this for layering. Look how they have the wings elevated. Okay, so I am going to type in dragonfly. I'm trying to get this to where you can read it. Oops. Shift. Okay, dragonfly. Now I want my second line to have the name of the company, so I'm going to hit this little return here. Now it shows that I'm on my second line right there. I'm going to hit all caps here and type in pink ink designs. Okay, now I'm going to hit print. It's going to ask, do I want just one copy? I'm going to say yes, print again. Now, it doesn't come all the way out. You see the font is smaller. It's not out far enough, so I'm going to hit shift and feed again, or once, and that's perfect. So now, as long as you could see the writing in there, when you cut it, it only leaves this much margin on the end instead of that much margin. So it is a little better than the other alternative. I do want to cut off this much. If you want to reset this, let's say you don't like that margin set up, you forget, you just want to start all over fresh. You want to hit Shift R like this and turn it off. Keep holding the Shift and R down turn it back on and then release shift and R that resets so think R for reset but you again you have to hit shift R turn it off turn it back on and then release those so now my margins are back to the default and if you have this and you have lost your uh, owner's manual I will give you a link down below to finding that now I'm looking at this and I see that this is going to be too tall for the large pocket so I'm going to get this one out this is the extra large now those who are wondering if I have used the pockets from the other store checkout store yes I have I have them both and I can't tell a difference between them okay so now I'm just going to remove the packaging here
Now see how it's just clear, but it really is helpful to put this behind there. Okay, now I want to see. It's not too tall, that's good. And you can see I still have the beauty of the image. And now this can go into my collection there. So that is how I am storing all of these. I'm really happy that I have done this and I hope this helped you. I do love this. I'm sure it has way more potential than I'm aware of, but I am really happy with it. I will also give you a link down below to this, but also to the replacement tapes because all you do is just pull this down. Their tapes are really expensive, but this is a knockoff brand on Amazon and I will give you a link down below to that and it works just fine with them. So I want to show you, I just picked up um, one of those photo albums from Michaels for my little stamps. And I've only put one stamp on each right pocket, none on the left, otherwise it gets way too huge. But so far, and I haven't organized these according to theme yet, but so far I think this is probably how I'm going to store these. Little ones that are just too little for all of the other things. Fits right in here, and there you have it. So in here... This is that container I showed you from Ikea. It's got all of the large pockets in it. Well, there's some here too, but um, these ones were really tall and I couldn't close the flap on them and I didn't want to use the extra large containers. These ones here I have are all craft related, so there are, they're themed based on uh, craft themes. So, uh, and the rest here, but I have some set aside as well. So. I still haven't gone through and organized these according to theme, and the reason is that I still have some more that I'm working on putting in here, but I want to show you what I have so far. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it.